We got them. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew, and if you're new and you like what you see, including me, subscribe down below. Be part of the gang, the Drew gang, bro. Come on. Drew gang, FC, whatever. Look, enough of the intros. If you guys all know while we're all here, while you're here, while I'm here, it's to talk about the biggest news to ever happen in MLS since the year of David Beckham. And that, of course, is, come on, Lionel Messi is coming to MLS. It's official. He's nearly signed it's not official yet like the papers aren't signed there's no picture of him with the jersey shaking Beckham's, Beckham's hand like but it's coming it's coming I know this video is kind of random but I just got home from work put the jersey on got the drink and I'm celebrating dude this is a celebration for USA soccer this is the best time for him to come here to MLS why because first of all he's straight off the back of a freaking stellar campaign in the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar, winning that shit, scoring in the final twice. He won the World Cup finally. Everybody here in America, like, I mean, I mean, soccer fans in America, all watched that final, I'm sure. All know who this guy is. All know how important this World Cup was to him. Done. And I think that World Cup also grew a lot of attention here in America with regular fans of, of sports. To kind of be attracted to the to sport, whatever, and kind of maybe become fans of Messi or Argentina in that final. Because that's what Americans um, and sports fans sometimes do. Bandwagons, that's what happens. It's normal. No, no judgment there. Also, the 2024 Copa America, which is going to be next year in June, hosted in USA. Messi, I'm sure, will still be playing by that time. That's going to that's gonna grow more fans. That's going to be more. That's, that's going to be more stuff. Imagine Argentina playing against USA in a group stage or in a, in a cup final, whatever. That would be absolutely insane. Like, it's going to grow, garner so much hype, attention, media attention. Like, it's going to be freaking nuts. And then two years later, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I'm not sure how long Messi will be playing. But two years later, he will be, like, what? By this time, what? Like, 2026, 20, like, three years from now. He'll be, like, nearly 40. Who knows if he'll still be around. But... Then the World Cup is here, 2026, in USA, hosted here. Argentina will definitely be playing. USA obviously playing. Messi already by that time integrated in USA sports culture. I would love, I would love to see Lionel Messi do interviews. Even if it's some fucking Telemundo or whatever, I don't care. Like, do interviews, put the subtitles on there, put him, give him a little earpiece to translate. Go on Jimmy Kimmel, go on freaking uh, Conan's podcast, go anywhere just be so marketable i made a video on this channel a couple years ago saying that i think ronaldo would be the best player to come here because he's more marketable he knows english and that's true i think that's still true today because ronaldo would definitely do all that shit messi i'm not sure but i want to see mls push this mls push this dude just push him push him to the medium push him to other sports networks i don't care where it's espn just go and market the hell out of this dude because he could really be the player who could change the way MLS does everything? And that I'm telling you guys, that video is coming later after this because I'm gonna get too, I'm gonna get, really get into detail with that. But right now, it's just straight reaction, raw, buzz. Let's go, man! I'm ready to go. Let me know your thoughts down below. What you guys think about MLS signing the goat? And yes, I said goat. And if you're mad about that, uh, you're probably um, I don't know, Ronaldo fan or a Brazilian. Now, this is a monumental, huge move for MLS, obviously, but also just as big a move for Lionel Messi. Why is that? Well, first of all, now being a long-term fan of this dude, I never thought that he would ever sincerely leave Barcelona. Only, though, to play and retire in Argentina with his first professional team ever, which was in Rosario Nuevo's Old Boys, which was his team where he grew up and got his name, whatever, you know. Um, so I always thought that that's where he would end up after Barcelona. I thought it should be Barcelona and then this Rosario team. But and then we have PSG. And then I think after that, he's like, you know what? I, I can go anywhere. I feel like maybe he just felt like he, he could try something else, try new things. And like I said, I, don't, I thought him going to Barcelona was a bad idea. Him going to Saudi League was obviously a bad idea for him and his family. He didn't want to do that. So what's the best option? I guess not the Premier League. But... MLS and dude, I am so happy. I know some fans are kind of pissed off that fans who are not Inter Miami fans, like Orlando fans or any other, any other team really, who watch and subscribe to Apple TV to watch MLS season pass, 
now your money is going to pay Messi's wages. How do you feel about that? I mean, for me, I'm like, damn, like, MLS don't got that money, or Apple TV don't got its own money, like, a billion-dollar corporation can't pay this dude, like, I mean, we're not paying him Al Hilal or Saudi Arabia money, like, we're paying him, like, good money, bro, like, he's probably going to be the most ever, the most paid player ever in MLS, probably for the next couple decades, you know, quote me on that, go ahead. I have been a fan of Messi for nearly 15 years, since 2009, when he won his first Champions League with Barcelona, Um, and I've been through all those ups and downs, Copa America finals, World Cup finals, like, everything. So, like, I have really have a special place in my heart for this dude. Like, you know, call me a fucking Stan or Sim, whatever. I'm here through Thick and Thin with Messi. I didn't buy a fucking PSG jersey, though, because I was like, dude, I don't really like PSG, but it's okay. I got every other jersey for Messi, and now I got to get a freaking inner Miami jersey. Like, come on. Miami, bro. Come on. But look, Messi coming to Miami is one of the biggest things ever. I really... As a Barca fan as well, I was hoping he'd come to Barcelona, obviously, but I knew it wouldn't work out because Barca really are in a bad situation right now in a whole redevelopment phase. I also was very scared that he was going to go to Saudi Arabia and play with Al-Hilal because in, they were paying him mad freaking money, bro, like mad money to go and play in the Saudi League. And a lot of players like Benzema, Ronaldo, now N'Golo Kante, all seem to be enticed by that money. And I don't know what else they have there. The league is not that good, not better than MLS, just saying. But it's 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 wild. So I really was scared that he would want to go there. But obviously, like Messi, like your boy Drew, is a very family oriented man. And obviously, he's not gonna want his kids to go there. Like you know, no, there's no, no disrespect for that country. But I know they have a certain way. Uh, they have certain values and, and probably different views and values than Messi does. And just you know, maybe more comfortable, maybe not as a comfortable life as he would have in Barca or in Paris or in Miami. And I guess Miami is a really nice place to pick. I guess if you can pick any fucking city in the world to live in, like a fucking like millionaire he is, yeah. Go on the sunny side of Florida, hang out in Miami, play in Fort Lauderdale, whatever. But he's here now in MLS playing, or going to be playing with Inter Miami, who right currently sit <laughs> are the worst team in the Eastern Conference. How will he affect this team? That video is going to come out after this video. This is really a monumental move for MLS, a monumental move, I think, for Messi as well. Uh, I, I, Being a long-term fan of Messi, I really never thought he would ever leave Barcelona, only to go back to Newell Old Boys, which was his boyhood club, which he always stated would be the club and place he would, he would retire. So I'm not sure how long Messi would stay here in MLS, and I'm not sure if he would go back to Argentina. Uh, and Rosario, Argentina, I, I have no idea. I think his family is a, plays a big role uh, in his career path. Um, definitely, when he said that back in the day that he would retire in those old boys, I'm not sure if he had any kids yet. So his family dynamic was not what it is today. He's got three sons now. And I know in the future, those three guys, three, three kids are going to grow up and hopefully play soccer and the three messy brothers, whatever. Well, anyway, thanks for kicking with me. As always, subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.